Senator Harper, District 4. Thank you, Mr. President. Rise a point of personal privilege. Yes, proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Members, I'd like to tell a story about one of my experiences in the military and how it, um, how it related to the President's speech last night. I understand the President will be making a, um, a push to allow um, gays to openly serve in the military. And uh, from my experience, this, uh, this is a mistake. Um, back when 1989, when I was in the 1st Infantry Division, I got there in 1988, and um, we were in old barracks, and uh, we were moving into new barracks. We went from bays to two-man rooms. And um, <clears throat> Sergeant First Class of my platoon uh, wanted me to room with a person that we all knew was a homosexual. And I said, uh, Sergeant, I said, if I have to room with him, I'm going to turn him in. So, um, so he ended up assigning another soldier to serve with the, to uh, room with this person. Uh, Sar uh, Specialist Rollins was the individual. Uh, Specialist Rollins uh, was quite an individualist, and I think that might have been the biggest problem, is that when you're in the military, you are about, you're supposed to be about putting your personality aside and coming together as a unit for the good of the unit, for the good of the country. And being an individualist, there is not room for in the military. Uh, PFC Rollins, I'm sorry, Specialist Rollins at the time, um, one time uh, tested positive for THC, which means he was smoking pot. Um, he got an Article 15, lost the stripe, and had to do seven days of extra duty. Another time, PFC Rollins um, uh, went AWOL for a number of days. We had Our platoon had to go down and inventory his stuff, including his personal effects, which were very evident that he was... Uh, openly homosexual. Um, uh, after uh, PFC Rollins was eventually captured, uh, he was court-martialed out, not because he was homosexual, but because he had gone AWOL. Um, being an individualist does not match well with being in the military. You are supposed to conform to the standards and come together as a unit for the good of the unit and for the good of the country. Now, um, after Rollins had been court-martialed out of the military, um, his roommate had uh, PCS, or permanent change of station, gone on to another thing. And about a month later, because I was the, uh, the battalion uh, SIDBURS clerk, which means I ran the computer that kept the database of the uh, grade changes, positions, things like that rank, uh, the, uh, the medics came to me and said, we have a person that, that tested positive for for HIV, and we only have the last four of the Social Security number. We need to look them up. It was the person that had roomed with uh, PFC Rollins. Now, this was a promiscuous soldier, that, so it might not have been that he had a relationship with Rollins. So, but uh, we had problems from the beginning because we decided that we would not turn in somebody who was openly serving in the military that was a homosexual, that we knew to be a homosexual. We, we tried to be tolerant. It didn't work. It didn't work for our platoon. It didn't work for the 1st Infantry Division. And it will not work for the United States of America. Thank you.